Hi, this is Dr. Ralph Wilson with Web Marketing Today. I'm in San Jose at the eMetrics Conference here with Caleb Whitmore, and we're going to be talking, Caleb, about uh, getting the most from goals in Google Analytics. Uh, tell me about some of the problems that you see with clients that you work with. So, Ralph, I work with clients all over the world as a Google Analytics certified partner, and one of the most common issues that I run into with clients is that they many cases haven't even set up a goal or several goals in Google Analytics. And the goals engine in Google Analytics is one of the most powerful features that really makes the whole system work. So what is a goal in Google Analytics? So a goal can be three things. It can be reaching a specific point on the website. Okay, so if they get to a certain place in your website, it registers, okay. Right, and that can be a single page or even a group of pages. Oh, okay. Um, it can be spending a certain amount of time on the website, so okay. the next number of minutes or seconds. Okay, so you would set a goal like, I want them to spend 30 seconds average on my site or something like that? Yeah, mm -hmm. and then uh, the third one could be the number of pages viewed. So you okay. might set a goal for viewing two pages, viewing five pages, viewing ten pages. So essentially when you set up goals then you can tell how well you're doing mm -hmm. rather quickly because that's, they're set up. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a way of determining when visitors come to your site and start to do the things you want them to do, as well as reach the money points, or what I would call the super goals, where uh, that might be filling out the lead form, or purchasing a product, or, or doing something that is much more closely tied to revenue or what drives your business forward. Okay. So the key is meaningful goals for your site. Mm -hmm. What kind of tips can you offer us in that area? So if you're an e-commerce site, I always say there are four key goals that you should set up. Should you, just, should you just set up one or should you set up several? You should set up several. A common mistake is that you just want to set up one goal. And that's a good starting place, but if you only have one goal, you miss a significant story of conversion and pre-conversion interaction. Okay. So goals are a way of identifying when people start to move towards that point of conversion where you'll make some money. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you don't set that up, it's, it's an untold story of visitor You just don't learn as much as you could yes. to help you make good decisions. And you can, you can make serious mistakes. I have a client where we set up a goal initially just for completing their, their lead inquiry form, but we didn't set up goals for moving towards that process. Mm -hmm. And after we set that up, we realized there were a lot of keywords that we had stopped buying that were bringing very high quality traffic okay. that just wasn't ready to fill out that lead form yet. Okay. And so once we started looking at those pre-conversion goals, we started to see that there are people that come into the site from keywords that had great amounts of traffic that moved part of the way towards filling out that form, and then later they come back and make a straight line for that form and fill it out. So for e-commerce sites, you mentioned four important goals. What are they? So as an e-commerce site, you of course want to have a goal of reaching the thank you page, completing an order. Mm -hmm. uh, another important goal is the shopping cart. So just reaching the shopping cart, which indicates somebody's really engaged in a shopping or buying session. Mm -hmm. uh, the third goal is reaching a product detail page, so any product detail page. And the fourth would be reaching a category level page. And when you set up these four goals, what you'll be able to see on your goals tab report in Google Analytics is what percent of visits look at, prod at category pages, at product pages, at the shopping cart, and finally complete a purchase. And when you set up the scoring or the value engine to assign a different weight or importance score to each of those, say one point to the category, two to the product detail, five to the shopping cart and ten to completing an order, you'll get a much more accurate picture of the total value of that interaction hmm. from visitors. Very good. Now, what if you have an e-commerce, the, the shopping cart is on a different site mm -hmm. than your main site? Mm -hmm. Are there any tricks to the trade about that? Well, that's one of, uh, that's a very common scenario and that's one of the most challenging issues and common problems that people run into with Google Analytics. And you, to bridge that gap, you have to change the tags, the JavaScript tags for Google Analytics to go into your site. You can't just install the basic tag that you get when you sign up. And if you haven't gone through a process of thinking about what kind of domains you have, do you have subdomains or other third-party shopping cart mm -hmm. or checkout domains, and you don't modify the JavaScript tags on your site, you will never be able to get accurate data about how people move through your site and finally complete a purchase. So this may be a place you need to bring in a consultant to help. Yes, or, or read the technical documentation Google uh, Analytics read has. Read the documentation? has a lot of documentation if you have that <laughs> fortitude to, to dive into that and you okay. can learn it. But the, the uh, consultants, uh, my company, and there's 150 analytics certified partners globally 
Um, one of the big myths about Google Analytics is that you can't get help. Mm -hmm. And the reality is there's a lot of help to be had. They do charge, but you're not paying for the product. Mm -hmm. So, Well, they've done really well in partnering with a lot of really competent people. So yeah. I think that's great. I think it's been a good Any strategy. other tips for us? Uh, around goals? Yeah. Um, if you are not a commerce site, you can still set up lots of different goals, and I, I highly encourage that. What kinds of goals might be appropriate? So engagement level goals, reaching a certain number of pages, and I always like to have a goal for viewing two pages. What that indicates is that you did not bounce. Okay. And that's a great thing to know people that didn't bounce. Uh, viewing the number of pages that's above your average. So you need to look at your own website and look at what your site average pages per visit is, and then set a goal of, if you have 3.4 pages per visit on average, set a goal for four pages per visit, and call that above average. And then you'll be able to see the visits that are above average. Mm -hmm. uh, and do the same thing for time on site, set a time on site goal that's above average. So then when you look at your dashboard and try to figure out what's going on in your site, you have a, a much better handle than just their generic kinds of of thing, you, you know specifically related to your goals how effective your site has been. Yeah, you can see not just how many visits you had or page views you had, all that is like is looking in the rearview mirror if you're driving mm -hmm. down the road. You can't drive a car with only looking in the rearview mirror. You need to have insight into what's ahead. Right. And goals provide that insight by helping us to see when you're looking at your traffic sources and at your, at your pages, your landing pages, where visitors come that start to do the things you want right. them to do and do the things that make you money on your website. Well, Caleb, thanks for sharing with us. Tell me about you and your business and what you do. So, uh, Analytics Pros is a Google Analytics certified partner and certified training company, and our mission is to support and empower users of Google Analytics. And so that takes us to providing consulting, training, and support services to people that use Google Analytics, as well as um, doing training seminars and events. And, and you're an author? I'm an author, yeah. We uh, just completed this book, Performance Marketing with Google Analytics. Okay. And uh, I wrote it uh, with two other co-authors, Sebastian Tonkin, who is a former Google employee I'm from the Google Analytics team, and Justin Catroni, who many of your viewers may know from his popular blog, Analytics Talk. Good. Thanks, Caleb. This is Ralph Wilson with Web Marketing Today.